What's going on people? Today we are looking at these night vision goggles. 3D night vision. As you can see it doesn't even show the brand on this box, but nonetheless, uh, they work pretty good. Let me show you this case it comes with. Decent, hard, protective, it works. Uh, it comes with USB-A. I don't know why they keep going with these. Come on people. Go to C's, at least. Extra clip. There's a headrest. Uh, it's, it's cheap. It's cheap feeling. But it does work. So. And a strap. Alright, so here's the uh, main star of the show. Night vision. Oh, it really says on it. Uh, these adjustments are <laughs> very cheap feeling. There's the focus, and then small focus. Get your power button. IR mode. Other modes. Uh, take pictures and a menu button. Alright, so I'm going to get this set up on here. Alright, so we got the headrest set up. You got three different uh, distances from your head that you can pick. For me, the closest one works best. Uh, this actually is pretty comfortable. Although it looks cheap, feels cheap, it's actually decently comfortable. Although I have to say I haven't worn it for a long period of time. Alright, let's go out here first. That's what it looks like. And it does work. I flip it up. There's a little magnet here that the bolt will hit and help keep it in place in the up position. Uh, so first I'm going to show you what it looks like in the daylight because one nice thing about these over other ones that I have is this one will actually work in the daylight and the dark. Some of the others don't work very good in the daylight so let's start there. Alright so what you can see here is through the eyepiece that way you can kind of see what really see other than recording from it uh, this is a couple hundred yards see it works pretty good middle of the day right, let's do some dark all right so this is a room complete darkness no windows um, it's still close it's it's this is close range but just to give you an idea it's the best i can do it's dark outside. So here you go. That is outside of it. That's what I can see. Let's see, we come down to the camera. Rockers. It's pretty good. You can actually see what's going on. Once again, dark. Here's a lens. So there you go, quick demo. They work pretty good, they feel cheap. A few of the parts feel cheap, but functionality works real well. One thing I don't like is that with this head piece on, you have to, I don't know if you can even get it shut. If you could, you'd have to really, really jam it down. So what you have to do is take that bolt back off. So what you have to do is take this off. next to it and it shuts there you go you can take it with you 3d night vision hopefully it helps and uh, gives you some info have a good day it starts off in color it does not come with an SD card my driveway is a hundred feet long I'm doing my best to use my cell phone for this all right, one click up on the infrared. Sorry, one click up on the infrared. All right, that's a hundred feet out at night in the rain. Okay, that's with the infrared turned up to the next level. 
or sorry, started. It's 100 feet out. It's turned up to two. That's the old man's house down and across the street as I'm turning up the infrared levels. The picture is not grainy. It just looks like that on my phone. That is, I'm actually impressed no more than this thing cost. I mean, look at that. Good grief. And no street lights out here either. Just my lamppost and my flagpole. And you turn it back off and it goes right back to color. It's pretty cool. I'm impressed. You can actually take videos with it and pictures, still shots, dates, times, all that stuff. It's pretty cool.